Hi Marcus, just to explain the features of this tent, if we go into the tent, <coughs> here we have the uh, extension, uh, bed extension as we have normally, and then this flap that we have here is a modesty panel that uh, fits on here with rivets, and on the top there you'll see that that fits on there with um, uh, Velcro. So it's not necessary to have this, but it's very nice that we put this in. Um, the reason for that is because these side panels, they come off here, they zip off. Uh, you have a door on this side here as well that can go to uh, the shower area or the front of the trailer. At the bottom, you'll see that we have uh, a zip-in bottom panel, um, a, mud, uh, a mud base uh, that can be zipped out if you are on a lawn and you don't want to have that in. Um, it seals around at the bottom like normal. If we then go to the outside and we, and we look at the, uh, the way that the um, awning fits on, I'll just go to this area here on the top. You'll see here that it zips on beautifully the whole way down uh, to the bottom. We also have, just talking about that, we have mud flaps on the outside. So this is, this is different to the flap that's on the inside. So there's actually two flaps there. So if you do take the inside one out, you still have the flap on the outside. Um, and that's the same on all of these here. If I just open that up and just zoom out, you can see there. So that you can, uh, with sand or whatever, you can seal that off nicely. Then on the top here, you'll see that this is the zip, how it attaches. So this is the fly sheet. And then there's the zip underneath there. And if I just go up on the top, you'll see that runs the same the whole way around on both sides. So then looking from the outside, uh, the features that we have on each of the corners, we obviously have the guy rope that comes down. And in the center, we have another guy rope. And the idea behind this is that when we pull this down, we create, uh, we create the fall that is required for water. If we then go uh, to the inside, um, we have the windows. The windows have fly sheets on them, which can zip open and closed. And on the outside, we can obviously close it up. It's made up with three panels, so if we look to that side there, which is looking onto the bedroom side of the trailer, that's one panel with a door and a window, and then you get a zip that comes in here, and we can see how neatly that there is being done. And this panel is the door panel, that's the door on that side there, going down to the bottom. And then we have the third panel which goes to the front, which has a window there and a window there. And what we've done here is to seal this off. You'll see that the tent seals off on the side. This is the rope channel that we have on both sides of the trailer. And then this zips the whole way from the top there. If I go up the top, it zips the whole way down, the whole way down. And at the bottom, we have a double zip on both sides of this panel. And then there's another panel underneath here. If you just have a look at how well the guys have finished that off. Finishing off, this is underneath the nose cone or just behind the nose cone underneath there. So once you've set this up, you really have a beautiful, um, uh, well-sealed uh, unit. Just going to the support of the tent on the top, we've got these two bows that go through on the top like that, and they fit into one uh, beam that goes across there from this side to that side. And that makes that ensures that on this side here, we don't have any water pooling. If I then turn around behind me, you'll see that each of the, each of the, the awning arms have got a drop-down leg. And if you look out into that corner there, the drop-down leg is not even in position and it is uh, supporting itself. The drop-down leg, obviously you know that it just fits up with a bit of Velcro over there. Um, and uh, there's their little extension. And at this point we can, we can undo this and we can drop the leg and we can drop the leg down like that and then adjust the height. In order to keep the awning open, we've put in these two fixed units. So there's one there and then there's another one here on this arm. And on the last arm, instead of putting it down here, we've put it on the end. So there's the arm there. And that is to support to keep this nice and flat. Now there might be a little bit of uh, water pooling at this point. But again, if you go to the outside and you simply pull this pole down, you'll see that's got quite a bit of flexibility in it. 
if you pull this down uh, or remove the pole and pull this down, you will uh, prevent the water trapment from this uh, area on this panel. Looking at the features from this side, if I just come in closely, you'll see again that on the top there, I'll just go up on the top, hold it like that. Uh, again, here you see this flap underneath there with the, with the um, zip very high up underneath there. So this panel here going up and then this one coming over, that should create a nice seal. Uh, there's the uh, panel in the, in the fly sheet. Uh, if I go back and I show you from this side, uh, that is then openable uh, from inside. And if I zoom out on this side, this is the outside of the panel, how it fits down there. And if I come out here, you can maybe see uh, how nicely that finishes off on this side. And I think that that's a, it's a very, very neat unit, and this is what we're busy manufacturing for you now. This is the tent here on the machine at the moment. And uh, this should be pretty much done, I'd say, probably by about close to finished on Friday.